Hallelujah. Greetings, precious people of God. Wherever you are watching this broadcast across the world, my name is Apostle Martin Mutwiri. I am a deliverance minister here in Kenya, and the Lord has given me grace to come and speak to you once more through this broadcast. I thank God, especially during this season, we are at the moment of prayer and fasting. It's a corporate prayer and fasting that involves people across the world. And we are praying a common prayer, believing by faith for salvation, hearing and deliverance and blessings of humanity across the world. We want to pray that salvation message may spread across the group. Men and women, both young and old, should come back to salvation. Healing across the world. We want to trust God this year for more healing miracles across the globe in the name of Jesus. And deliverance. We want to set the captive free. We want people to be redeemed from curses, to be set free from demons, to be set free from occultic involvement. We want the deliverance message to enter into the heart of men and women. Remember, deliverance involves separating yourself from whatever entered as a result of a demonic activity. And remember, I spoke in John chapter number 10, verse number 10, in my earlier broadcasts. I spoke about demonic activity that brings bondages involves the devil coming to steal, kill, and destroy. It's an entire mission, stealing, killing, and destroying. And in those three missions of the devil of stealing, killing, and destroying, there is a lot of manner of demonic activities and involvements. And that is why we ought to pray for deliverance to come. The deliverance of Jesus Christ to come to our rescue. Hallelujah. And, and during this 42 day of prayer and fasting, I know that humanity is going to be redeemed. Now, do, do this uh, uh, period, I want to speak about limitations of deliverance. Limitations of deliverance. What hinders us from attaining deliverance or hinders us from not receiving this precious gift of deliverance from God. And one of the things that I would like you to focus on it is conversation. There are some people that have not achieved their deliverance because they have not changed their conversation. The way they used to speak when they were bowed. And right now, they are at the table of deliverance. They are not, they are not changing their conversation. Hallelujah. For example, if you used to have a rose tongue, if you used to be a gossiper, you love gossip. If you used to speak evil of others, if you used to speak ill of others, if you used to curse, if you used to speak things that led to others to fight, right now if you are at the table of deliverance, you need to change your conversation. You need to tame your tongue. You need to tame your conversation. Hallelujah. Remember even the deliverance of salvation involves you to confess. In simple, you are having a conversation with the deliverer who is Jesus Christ. Fewer. The Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter number 1, verse number 15 to 16. 16. First Peter chapter number 1, verse number 15. But as he which has called you is holy, 
He has called you to deliverance and he is holy. So be holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. The one who is calling you to deliverance, and remember the deliverance name is Jesus Christ. He is calling you to receive this precious package. And you have begun attending deliverance prayers. You need to change your conversation and your speech. Remember what St. Paul said to Timothy. Be an example to others in speech, character, and conduct. Speech, character, and conduct. Speech is part of conversation. Wherever you are watching this broadcast and you are at the table of deliverance, you are the journey of deliverance. You need to work on your conversation and on your speech. Ask yourself, right now, throughout the day, in your conversation, how you have been speaking to people, how you have been speaking to your friends, how you have been speaking to your associates. In your conversation, if our Lord Jesus Christ came today, what would he say about your conversation? Then reflect on it. And the Holy Spirit will guide you in your conversation. There are people that when they began their deliverance journey, they used to have a rose tongue that used to lead them to more sins, leading to more bondages. But when they began to change their conversation style, and allowed the Holy Spirit to tame their tongue. Right now, they are free. And others are more better than they used to be. Viewer, work on your conversation and speech in the name of Jesus Christ. The second thing that can hinder you in your journey of deliverance or when you are at the table of deliverance it is and forgiveness and forgiveness is one of the hindrances of ultimate deliverance and forgiveness means you are not forgiving people that hurt you in the past they assaulted you they abused you maybe they have abused you sexually they abused you verbally or they did all manner of wrong things unto you when you choose to follow the path of deliverance viewer you need to let it go you need to forgive them you need to remember that vigilance belongs to god and god can take over in pursuing your case when you surrender it all unto him hallelujah surrender it all unto jesus allow him to take over allow him to carry your burden there are people right now you are making a deliverance prayer whether it is a personal prayer a group prayer or you have been attending deliverance sessions through anointed servants of God that are full with the oil of deliverance. Yet, you are not seeing the results. It could be, it is as a result of unforgiveness. Your heart is full of unforgiveness. You need to let it go. Forgive them that wronged you, them that assaulted you, you need to let it go. And our merciful Savior will intervene in your situation. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter number 11. Mark chapter number 11. Verse number 25. And when you start praying. Forgive. 
if you have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying, when you start to pray, and in this case you are petitioning, you are making your supplications, Lord, deliver me, change my story, deliver me from this yoke of destruction, deliver me from this satanic bondage, deliver me from this yoke of shame, deliver me from poverty, deliver me from this disease, deliver me from this affliction, deliver me from this anti-marriage demonic forces, deliver me from this demonic agenda. You are making this prayer. Remember it is a prayer. If deep in your heart you have not found it easy to forgive, then know that there is a limitation to your deliverance prayer or your deliverance petition or your deliverance supplication. You need to let it go so that your Father in heaven can receive your petition, can receive your, deliverance, your battle cry for deliverance and you'll be free in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, Matthew chapter number 18 verse number 16 If your brother wrongs you you need to tell the church Let us read Matthew chapter number 18 Matthew chapter number 18 verse number 16 But if moreover let me begin verse number 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he shall not hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more other that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established and if he shall not neglect to hear them tear it unto the church but if he neglect to hear the church let him be put unto thee as a even man and a publican very really i say unto you whatsoever you shall bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever shall Rules here or not shall be loosed in heaven. Jesus was giving out a procedure for solving a crisis or bringing reconciliation. And he said, if your brother has wronged you, go unto him and try to settle the matter out. If he does not, take two or three people, go and try to talk it out. And if in step two, nothing changes or he does not hear you then take the matter to the church that's why you need to be a church goer who is born again in christ jesus church is part of fellowship it is part of our manual here on earth on earth before we reach to heaven there are things that occur only in the church and that is fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You cannot ignore the fact about gathering together in church in form of fellowship. Church comes from the Greek word ecclesia, meaning a community or gathering of believers. Hallelujah. Remember, if you want to build your strength, or to maintain your deliverance, you need to have a church fellowship, reading the Bible, prayer, 
and testifying about how the Lord has delivered you from that form of bondage. Now, if you took the matter two or three more people, it was not settled. Take it to the church. The church will know how to do with that grudge. And in the church, we have the priest and we have elders of the church. And they will be able to guide you. And you will be delivered from that yoke of unforgiveness. There are some people that are full with that yoke of unforgiveness. And they can only leave them when they, somebody listens to them. Somebody listens to their side of story and then gives a solution or a guidance through the Holy Spirit. Viewer, another aspect that can limit your deliverance or another adherence to your deliverance, it can be not giving. There are people who are not givers. They don't like to give. Remember, the Bible says, Give and they shall be given back to you. Malachi chapter number 3 verse number 10. The Bible says, Give your offering and your tithe to my house and test me and see if I will not rebuke the devourer, the rockers and the cacao worms and all manner of distractions. Here is God presenting deliverance in another perspective. God is presenting deliverance in another perspective. And majority of Christians and people across the world have not realized the deliverance that is hidden in Malachi 3.10. That if you test me in this way, I'm going to open the heavenly windows of more supply and I will rebuke the devourer. The devourer is the evil spirit that is destroying your life. It is evil spirit. It is the work of curses, work of darkness that is trying to eat your career. But the Lord says, I want to have that audacity to rebuke the devourer when you are a giver of your offering and tithe. Viewer, we cannot ignore giving our tithes and offering to the work of God. There are people that you don't need prayers. You don't need somebody to lay hands on you. You just need to be faithful in your tithes and your offering. And then, the heavenly Father will respond by rebuking out the devourer or the attacker of your destiny and you will be free in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that when our obedience is complete we are able to punish disobedience. Hallelujah. People of God, I want to challenge you today. If you are never used to giving, start giving out, both to the church and also helping the less fortunate in the society when you are called upon to do so. Viewer, before I finish part one of this message, I want to pray for you. And I want you to be delivered from bondages as a result of conversation or limitations that hinder your deliverance as a result of conversation and speech. Bondages that attack you as a result of unforgiveness. And bondages that attack you just because you have not received that message of being a giver. Say, Lord Jesus, tame my tongue. Remove from me all forms of evil conversations that hinder my deliverance. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, deliver me today from every form of unforgiveness. I repent the sins of unforgiveness. Cleanse my heart. I forgive my enemies. I forgive them that assaulted me, them that wronged me. I forgive them today in the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace to be a giver so that, Lord, your word in Marakai 10 may bring restoration and may rebuke the devil in my life in the name of Jesus. God, bless me and set me free today in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. I want to be delivered. I want to be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord set you free. Continue watching for part two of this message. And the Lord will bless you. We love you so much. You can also write to us through the number on the screen. Or you can request for a deliverance service through the Zoom. Or you can pay us a visit here in Kenya. And we will pray for you. God bless you all viewers across the world. God bless you in Jesus name.